Hey, I'm Tommy Awesome, and I'm here with a tier list. Now, I had this idea where I was going to rank all of the Pokemon types to set up for uh, a flow of videos I wanted to do where I start ranking Pokemon. So I have this tier list here, and I'm going to rank all the types, basically. That's pretty much it. Yep. Uh, starting off with the bottom rank types, Dragon and Fairy. Now, I don't like these types mainly because Dragon is just a little overrated and Fairy doesn't make enough sense to me. Now, I love some Dragon types. There's nothing wrong with some good, like, Flygon or Garchomp or Hydreigon. Like, there's some great Pokemon out there that are in the Dragon type. I just, as a type by itself, like, it doesn't stand out. Like, the only thing it beats is Dragon. And that's it. So, it's just kind of boring. Having a Dragon type move isn't even very fun. Because all you do is like, oh, time to use a Dragon type move because there's a Dragon type out there. Which can be replaced with like an ice type move and then you have even more coverage because ice beats a bunch of other types. Meanwhile, fairy, I just always forget. I mean, maybe it's just because it was like the first type that came out that was new in my lifetime. But at the same time, like applying fairy to a bunch of past Pokemon is kind of cool. But I just, I just never appreciated it, and I play a lot more games without fairy in them. Like, I'll replay a Nintendo DS game, and then I'll just forget about the fairy type, because I don't really care enough about it. Moving on to the C rank. Psychic, Dark, Ghost, and Electric. Now these types are not bad, per se, I just don't care for them enough, but I do care about them a bit, a bit, like, they're better than Dragon and Fairy in my opinion, but they're just, meh. Uh, Electric has never been that cool to me. I've always disliked Electric because it only has one weakness of ground, and that's pretty easy to pa surpass by just using Magnet Rise or something on a certain Pokemon if it has Magnet Rise. Meanwhile, Ghost and Dark just seem so arbitrary because they beat the exact same things like if you have a ghost type move on your team and a dark type move on your team you're being a bit redundant because dark type moves beat the exact same thing that ghost type moves do because dark beats psychic and ghost and ghost beats psychic and ghost so it's just a bit pointless to me i like a lot of dark types and i like a good amount of ghost types but just by themselves, they're just meh. The types are meh. Psychic types have problems. In Gen 1, they were overpowered, and now they have like three weaknesses. And it's like, oh, I guess the psychic type isn't as overpowered as it used to be. It's like, whatever, I guess. I just didn't feel comfortable putting it in the mid tier. So I put it lower than the mid tier. <laughs> Moving on to the mid tier. Poison, Ice, Rock, Fire, and Grass. Grass types are okay. I, I like a good amount of grass types. I have a few favorite grass types. But yeah, other than that, they're weak to a good amount of things. And it's just meh. Uh, fire types, they're great. But there's just not enough of them. And I think that's where I start to just dwindle on my appreciation for them like I don't like that there's not enough fire types there should be more fire types but there aren't and so usually when I'm building my team I end up just reducing the fire type to a move on one of my Pokemon like oh I have a fire type move on that Pokemon I don't really need a fire type Pokemon because there's not that many of them and there's just less fire types then there should be especially since it's a starting type it just makes it seem like oh well i should always pick the fire type because who knows if i'm gonna get a fire type in this game 
like Diamond and Pearl, where the only other fire type choice besides Chimchar was Ponyta. And that sucked. Meanwhile, rock types, I, I like a lot of rock types. They're fine. I put them mid tier. Ice types are a great type to use as a move. Not a really good type to be. This is a thing that me and Dante actually talk about a lot. There are types that you want to have, not types that you want to be. So ice type is a type that you don't want to be because it's weak to a lot of things, but you do want to have it because it is good against a lot of things. Poison is the exact reverse of that, because poison isn't good against a lot of things, but it's a good type to be because it's not weak to a lot of things. See, I really like poison dark types because their only weakness is ground, but I can never justify being a poison type until, um, until I guess Fairy came out, they decided, oh, Poison should beat Fairy, but like I said before, I play a lot of Nintendo DS games without Fairy, where the only thing that Poison beats is Grass, so Poison just seems not good enough to me. I would love it if they uh, introduced another type, I don't know, made Poison beat it, I don't know how that would work. Poison just needs a little bit more love. Moving on to the A rank, we're getting into the types that I actually like a, a lot. Steel, Fighting, Flying, and Bug. Now if you're keeping up, you can guess what my S tier is, but I'm not going to reveal that until I'm done talking about these types, so just hang in there. These are some weird types, okay? I am a weird person. I like Bug types. I love using bug types and flying types I decided to put flying here because it has such a diverse amount of coverage in the sense of a second type because there's plenty of other secondary types that go with flying like you can have a flying steel type or you can have a flying water type you can have a flying fire type there's plenty of them and so when I'm playing a game where I'm restricting myself to certain types and flying is one of them, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy, I'm pretty content with myself. I'm like, oh, well I have a diverse amount of secondary types. Meanwhile, fighting is one of the best types to use because it's super effective against a lot of things. And whenever I get a fighting type, I'm always happy, so I decided I couldn't just put it in the mid rank, I had to put it higher than that. Um, and now steel types. Now, I was really considering not putting steel here, but... Steel is another one of those types like poison, but not as bad as poison. Like, it's a type that you want to be, and not a type that you want to use. I usually don't have a steel type move on my Pokemon, because steel only beats rock and ice and fairy. Um, but I'm, once again, I'm excluding fairy because I don't care about fairy. <laughs> um, but it only beats rock and ice, and so I'm just left with oh, I could just replace that with a fighting type move and I'll get the same result. So I usually stick like a Brick Break over an Iron Head on my Pokemon, even though Iron Head is more damage. Brick Break just is more reliable because it also beats other types. But Steel isn't as bad as Poison because Steel actually completely negates all Poison attacks, so that's always nice. Plus, Steel resists a million things, or, you know, less than a million things, as they keep reducing what it resists. Because it doesn't resist Ghost or Dark anymore, which kind of ruins a lot of those Steel Psychic types like Metagross and Bronzong. And it's really sad, for me, because I really like the Steel type and I love how it resists a lot of things. I like to just use a Steel type and have it just sit there, be a tank, and take hits. I love bug types. I don't know if I said that. They're pretty great. I, I love having a bug type move. Bug types are great. <laughs> Moving on to my S tier rank. I don't really need to uh, be very suspenseful about these. But yes, they're ground, normal, and water. Because I'm a weirdo and normal is one of my favorite types. Yes, I love normal types. They're not super effective against anything, but their only weakness is fighting, and normal types just make me happy. I love using a stab strength. 
It's just so good to me. Like a Snorlax, it's great because then I have strength and then it gets a stab boost and then it's great, especially with body slam. Normal types are just really good to me. I love normal types. I'm not too keen on combining them with other types like Babaril did with, norm well, with normal water type or uh, Pyroar did with normal fire type, but it's still good. I love having a normal type on my team because they can also learn a bunch of random other type moves usually. It's just really fun for me. I love Exploud. I love Apom. There's plenty of normal types I love. And that's why I had to put it in the S tier. Uh, water is here because it was one of my first, it was my first starter. My starter was Totodile and it was a water type because I like the water type. I just have always liked the water type. Um, and I've always liked the water type so much that I tended to have more than one water type on my team. In my first playthrough of Soul Silver, which was my first Pokemon game, I actually used a Poliwrath and a Feraligator, both physical water types. And I just used them both anyway because I liked them both. I was like, you know, I like these both. I have to have them both on here. And that just brought me back to, you know, water has to be in the S tier because it's one of my favorite types easily. And as for ground, ground is just a great type. I found myself loving a lot of ground types uh, when I started ranking all the Pokemon for these lists. I was like, oh, you know, I actually like a lot of ground types, not to spoil the list, but I just found myself running into, hey, that's a ground type too, or hey, that's also a ground type. Wow, I really like ground types. And then looking back, ground is just a great type. It's up there with fighting with the most things that it's super effective against. It beats a bunch of types, including electric, which is why I love having a ground type on the team because I hate fighting electric types because their only weakness is ground. And ground is great and I like ground. And this is my tier list. This isn't as long of a video as the ranking of the Mario cards that took me so long to make and edit and it ended up being too long of a video and I was like screw it I'm gonna upload it, but this one it shouldn't be as long Thanks for tuning in and checking out my tier list of Pokemon types um, In the next episode, I'm gonna go over my top 10 Pokemon from each region and then also my top 10 least favorite Pokemon from each region so look out for that coming in the near future, coming out from me. Subscribe for more, follow me on Twitter because I don't have a comment section, and tell me if you like the video, and it, you can also tell me if you like the video by liking the video. This has been Tommy Awesome, tune in next time, hasta la pizza.